Hello everybody, so a couple of months ago I made a video about GameStop, the struggling brick and mortar retailer, and how Michael Burry saw a future for them. In that video I laid down the fundamentals behind Michael Burry's argument, and also the argument for buying GameStop in general. Now a couple of days ago Ryan Cohen, the former CEO of Chewy.com, declared from an investment SEC filing that he purchased 9% ownership in GameStop. Today I'll go through why this is a huge shift for GameStop and a real game changer, so stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to The Contrarian. My name is Logan. I really like to talk about overall success as well as investing. And most of all, I you know, tend to weave in going against crowd thinking and contrarianism you know, into basically everything I talk about. So. If you like these kinds of topics, just consider subscribing. I also want to make a disclaimer that none of this is to be taken as investment advice, and I personally do have a uh, position in GameStop, so just take that into account. To begin with, let's look at a bit of Ryan's experience. He founded Chewy as an online retailer in 2011, and within only five years it grew to the number one online pet retailer. Uh, it was then purchased in 2017 by PetSmart for $3.35 billion. <laughs> so right off the bat, we see the advantages Ryan brings to the table. He has a really strong record of building brands, and most importantly, building strong online retail presence that gave Chewy such an advantage over generalized online retail brands such as Amazon. It's not that Chewy challenged Amazon in everything, but it certainly did with pet care. They were just able to provide much more specialized pet care products than a much more generalized online ret retailer like Amazon was. Now, in his recent investing filing for GameStop, he says he purchased it because, quote, it was an undervalued and represented an attractive investment opportunity. So there you have it. Like Michael Burry, he recognized the extreme undervaluation of GameStop. For example, even though the stockholder equity per share stood at nine, over $9, $9.40 roughly, GameStop was trading at well under this for over a year. This is likely due to the extreme negative sentiment that took over retail, retail as a whole as Amazon began to eat more and more of the retail pie. But as we can see from GameStop's business model, there will always be the necessary retail outlets to resell old games and consoles, which is a major part of GameStop's revenue. Also, GameStop still has the unique opportunity to transition into an online retailer for gamers. And to me, this represents the most bullish case for GameStop. Even though games are transitioning to digital and they will likely get to entirely digital eventually, GameStop can still survive in this environment, being the gaming hub and more community side for gamers. We've seen this in their recently unveiled concept stores that draw in gamers as more of a community hub rather than a retailer. However, there is still a long time in my opinion before all gaming goes completely digital. There is still strong demand for the physical disc versions of the PS5, obviously, which is just coming out this year, and GameStop has routinely been sold out of the PS4, even though the PS5 is coming out in only a few months. And with the drawbacks uh, to going completely digital that current gamers have, um, in my opinion, there's just still a long way off for games to go completely digital. And all this is still not taking into account COVID and the immense boost this has given to the entertainment industry and in particular gaming. In May, online sales for GameStop rose 1,500%. And even with the reopening of the majority of their brick and mortar stores, the online segment is still up over 500% for Q2 2020. This, in my opinion, presents the opportunity that Ryan Cohen was looking for. Uh, whether he you know, wants to just be an active investor on the board or just buy into the stock, or whether he's you know, wanting to really you know, take over GameStop entirely, I don't know, but he's actually still purchasing heavy amounts of shares in the last few days since this filing. It was just revealed yesterday that he boosted his position up to 9.6%, so he's definitely still buying. Uh, he's probably not done yet either. The opportunity to potentially help a brick and mortar retailer transition to a strong online presence, I think really appealed to him while still 
it was obviously still being priced in for bankruptcy, as everyone was saying. Uh, I remember back when I first bought shares of GameStop last year, I was usually laughed at by the people who were asking me, hey, you know, what are you uh, investing in right now? Oh, GameStop. <laughs> it would usually make them laugh and just completely, they thought it was a completely ridiculous idea. You know, oh, that's the next blockbuster that's going bankrupt within a year. You know, all these claims were completely baseless, of course, but it's just the public opinion that was commonly held. Um, so it's really no surprise that this news took everyone by surprise. While the crowd of investors is chasing after overvalued companies such as Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Virgin Galactic, you name it, Ryan Cohen and other contrarian investors are looking for the left-behind, undervalued gems of companies to get into. If you like this style of investing, consider subscribing as this is what I like to focus on. Obviously, it's up to you and your decision-making whether you buy GameStop stock, and this is not to be taken as advice, but I would be not surprised, I would not be surprised at all if the share price continues to climb from here and GameStop reached at least $20 a share by the end of this year. Um, this would still be nearly three times on your money right now for perspective, um, but again, this is not advice. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this news and my analysis of GameStop's business. Is it a good buy? Is it, you know, a really big game changer now that Ryan's on the board? Uh, do you think that it's still going broke? Anyway, let me know what you think, and I hope to see you again.